Let's go fishing! Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Blood Art Draken, and this is Episode 4, Map 2, Breeding Grounds. Right, just head straight, straight up the stairs into the aquarium, pick up a Thompson machine gun. We'll get the Tesla cannon out first because we'll be seeing some hellhounds up shortly. There they are. And then get the spray can out, we'll be facing off with some fat zombies. Also of note, um, there'll be underwater areas that you'll be visiting later, and you can actually see into these rooms when you're in this, this sector here, and other places. It's pretty cool. I'll show you more on that as we progress through the map. Anyway, here are the boarded butchers, guarding a life leech. So that's the first one to collect, if you did like the life leech in the secret prior. Now we've got some cultists around the corner, so we'll just lure one out at a time. Or not. Okay, now we'll pick up the shotgun shells and the life leech. And what I like to do here next is just crouch along and pick up these detonators because I don't have any right now and we'll just toss it up into that window there because we've got a couple of cultists lying in wait with us along with some gargoyles this will take care of them out of the way assume you can actually hit them you know how that hit detection is sometimes let's check out the life leech Holy balls, it's an awesome weapon. Just look at that! It's like a... Magic fire based weapon? And yes, unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, you have to kill that innocent in order to get the key, so... If you're trying to spare their lives up at this point, uh, you've just gotten your hands dirty now. And there's more areas that we'll be visiting later on, and we'll be able to see into this room shortly. For now, we'll pick up the Tesla cannon ammo. And behind this door is a cultist, so we'll gun him down. He'll be crouching. There'll be, there'll be a couple more just around the corner. We'll just pepper them with bullets too. Just tap that mouse key and most of the bullets should find a target. Pretty much like the chain gun in Doom. We've got a couple more to the right down these stairs, so we'll just take care of them too. Now the thing is, that's an eye door, but there's also one over there. That one is optional, but you'll want to go down there if you want most of the secrets and some kills, so... We'll get to that later. For now, we'll head up these stairs. I believe we've got zombies up ahead. Yes. Then we should have some hellhounds behind this door. Thankfully the map comp co compensates us with another Tesla cannon. Watch out for a cultist just to the left on these stairways as well. And there should be more zombies as well. Now, this is an elevator, but it's locked right now. Locked. We'll be coming down this elevator from the other side. I'll show you how that works later on. Right now, we just have to go up here. I believe we need the Tesla cannon out again. We'll be facing off some more hellhounds before we eventually grab the eye key. And one more area. Sort of like a fountain area with cultists just chilling out, basically. Nicely done. <laughs> at this point, I'll be down to 100 health points by now, but I'm just at 150, so it's not too bad. 
We'll collect the eye key. Gargoyles will spot you through the bars if you pick up this shield. Ah, we'll see them again later on anyway, so we'll be fine. We now have the eye key, so we'll go downstairs. And we'll mention, we'll uh, visit that optional area that I mentioned. So, get your t TNT out, open up the doors, and we'll just detonate these spiders. And then we'll get the Tesla cannon out, we've got another mother demon spider here. You know what to do, just pump the shit out of her with, with electricity. And yeah, once that's done, we'll uh, just detonate on these spiders. See if I can get them. There they are. Oh dear. All right, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just finish the rest off with shotgun shells. We got enough to go around. So, for our first secret... We'll grab the doctor's bag here. Just push open that wall and there's the doctor's bag. Since the secret has already been tagged and we can just push the wall back and forth as we see fit, I'm just going to leave that doctor's bag alone until the end of the level in case I need to use it. Uh, for now, for our second switch is opened up through this switch. It's a little tricky to activate. Come on, there we go. Yeah, just keep clicking around until it finally rotates 180 degrees. And that will open up a little niche elsewhere in the map to give us a life seed. So we'll just go through the other eye door for now. Colossus will have their backs turned, so just get ready for the shotgun. Were you seriously expecting me to come from the other direction? Fools. Alright, we got gargoyles and hellhounds coming up. We'll use the Tesla cannon on the hellhound. Like we got a cultist while we're at it too. Oh, oh boy. So I guess it only takes nine shots, more or less. All right, we'll pick up the weapons here, and there's the life seed. We'll go ahead and pick that up since we're coming close. And that's two out of three secrets revealed so far. We're now coming up to some gargoyles. We'll leave these guys alone. We'll just get the life leech out. I'm going to try and get these gargoyles bunched up together as best as possible. Over here, pal. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm a bigger threat than them. Sometimes they burst into flames at random when you're shooting them down with the Tommy gun after uh, fanning them with the life leech. One other thing you want to be careful about with this thing is that when it runs out of ammo, it starts to sap your health as ammunition. So just keep an eye on that ammo meter and you'll be fine. Unless you've got plenty of health to spare and don't mind using it. Alright, down the hallway we go. We've got some cultists coming up, so we'll, go, we'll use a good old-fashioned flare burst. I hope that hit the cultists. I think it did. Did some damage too, but that's okay. Right, up this stairs we go. Got some boiled butchers up ahead. And a zombie. Pretty soon we'll be reaching the gargoyles that we saw earlier in the map too. Uh, on the other side of that, those bars where we're at that uh, fountain and trees. Kind of looked like a break area to take a break from the job. I love it when they make that dying sound when under flames. So yeah, we got some Gilbis over yonder. Cultists to the right. What are these guys doing out of their comfort zone? I don't know. 
I'm not them, so I couldn't tell ya. Alright, we'll just finish off these gargoyles with napalm shots now that we've got the napalm launching yet once again. Son of a bitch must pay. That's still my preferred weapon to take them out with, if just because it made such a a pretty bloody show when it lands when it lands square on a gargoyle's ass. So we've got yeah, we've got all the shotgun shells. What about the voodoo doll? No, we need one. So for our final secret, just jump down into the water and just keep swimming around this stone pillar until you see a niche. And see how that's the starting area, I think? Gulps in there. Yeah, th these are all the windows that we were passing by in the start of the map. That's... It's just a neat little touch. I, uh, it boggles my mind. I'd love to know how he did that. Anyway, we'll just swim around until we see the niche. There it is. Gives us some super armor and a diving suit. We won't worry about collecting the diving suit up on the stone here, because when we swim towards the exit, we'll get another diving suit shortly anyway. For now, we'll just continue on to this pool. Uh, I think we've got to watch out for some cultists as well as some gill beasts. No, just the gill beasts. We'll use one last shot of the life leech on these guys and then we'll just napalm them to death. Just because, you know, variety. Uh, things are going to get really hairy down there. Thank God I've got all these shotgun shells. It's going to be a bit of a messy firefight down there. Done. That should be the last enemies we have to deal with. Now it's the last of the enemies we've dealt with. And that should be everything that we've collected. So we should be able to just swim through this pool. There's that room where we collected the key after we killed that civilian too. Just shoot that uh, metal grate up ahead, collect the diving suit, swim past this rotational device and hit the exit and we are out! Yeah, it's a small handful but I'm not going to fuss. I forgot to show that elevator, but basically there was an elevator that you could unlock uh, up where we fought the gargoyles at that uh, put that tank of water, and uh, that would lead back to the other side. But what I'd love to know is, I've always thought that in the build engine, like pools of water would be like separate sectors, and maybe that's still the case, but somehow they are able to connect to the previous sectors at the start of the map in amongst other areas and we can see inside the uh, in, into the water area and back inside on the other side when you're in the water area I'd just love to know how they did that it's pretty impressive anyway that's the end of the breeding grounds I will see you next time in the channel house see you then